Um, what did, did you, I guess, just sticking with Ryan after you, know, you had the tough uh, miss against Notre Dame and he comes back and it's a, b a big kick for you guys, what did you see from him during the week? Was there even any consideration to opening it up or, or, or did you like what you saw in him? No, you know, I, I, uh, coming out of camp, we have a ton of uh, confidence and, and faith in, in Ryan. And, um, you know, I, there was never really consideration uh, to, to make a move there. Um, you know, I, the the thing about you know going back to that that first game, um, you know, I thought the the more difficult kick was was probably the one that put it into overtime, um, and you know probably had in some ways more pressure on it where the game was at that point in time. Um, so I had really no concerns or doubts going into to last week. He had a good week of practice, and then I was happy for him that he had the success that he had in the game um, with a 53 yard field goal. I think that will do nothing but build confidence for him going forward. And just, um, just Alex, just the way he's been punting so far. He's been in a couple of close games and just how valuable his progression and the way he's been able to improve. Yeah, Alex certainly can be a weapon for us. Um, you know, you saw, obviously, he was able to turn the field over um, with, with the 65-yard punt. It was a great job by Kalen Deloach getting down hustling in coverage. Um, and then, you know, I, I don't know how many people noticed it because it might have gone under the radar, but he did have that left-footed punt. Um, mm -hmm. I guess that was in the first quarter, um, which was 45 yards, you know, which was probably a little more than we expected to get out of that. So um, the fact that he can do so many things uh, certainly makes him a weapon and it keeps people who are trying to attack us in terms of our punt protection, keeps them a little bit more off balance because we can roll to the left, we can roll to the right, um, and it forces people to at least play us straight. Jermaine Johnson is first nationally in power five defensive ends for sacks. I guess, what is he doing so well to be so productive in pass rush? And can you talk just about his energy and effort he's bringing in all fronts right now? Well, I mean, you know, what he's doing well, you know, for one, it all starts with Jermaine. He plays super hard. Um, you know, I think anybody who's watched um, him play over these last couple games see the effort and energy he brings. Um, and he's a, he's a gifted pass rusher. He has his ability to, to accelerate and, and to get off the ball um, extremely well. Uh, he's physical, um, and he's a more physical pass rusher than I think people probably realize in terms of you know, just the way he, he's able to play with his hands, and, and he's able to go from speed to power in his rush. Um, he's, he's, been, he's had a really good start to the season, and uh, I know he's, he's – not to speak for him, but I know he's disappointed with where things are from a team perspective. But I also know that that uh, you know I think he he feels comfortable where he's how he's growing and getting better. The rotating with Travis and Keyshawn returning punts was that something by design, or is it the way the game was flowing because of their uh, status? The the rotation on the punt returns a little bit of flow of the game. Uh, you know, Trav uh, is going to be out there when he's fresh. Um, you know, when we're coming off of a, of a defensive series where he's been in for a while or um, he's gotten to the fact that point that he's a little bit fatigued, that's when we use Keyshawn. Um, you know, we, we feel good about both those guys. So, um, you know, for us, it's just at the moment which, which guy gives us the best chance. Uh, Keyshawn had a nice punt return in that game, but there were also a couple other ones where it seemed like the gunner got him right when he caught it. What? I mean, I know you guys practice this a lot. Is is that just the balls are high and that's going to happen, or is there something that can be done to maybe give that returner a little bit more wiggle room? Yeah, I mean, you know, so uh, Keyshawn is is a pretty aggressive return guy in terms of, of decision making, um, and we got we got to do a better job uh, in terms of blocking the the gunner that was removed. Um, you know, obviously that that uh, is something that that we need to. To get better at, and you know, the uh, Keyshawn, I, I didn't, I did not fault him in terms of decision making. Um, I want him to be aggressive back there, um, but we got, we got to do a better job blocking in that, in that case, in both those cases. The, the, the pass rush overall, it seems like it's been pretty effective. The start of the game is. Um, are you seeing what you want from even the younger guys? I mean, how's that group coming along? Coming yeah. along? Yeah, you know, I think you know it's been it's been a positive that um, you know we we were able to. I think 
in this past game, Derek McClendon was able to get some pressure. Um, you know, I think he was probably credited with a sack or at least a half sack on on, on his. And then uh, Quayshon Fuller in the first game. So I mean, we are starting to get a, you know some some uh, some some more guys contributing to the pass rush. And I think the inside guys have done a nice job. I think Fabian Lovett, Dennis Briggs um, have both done a nice job rushing the passer. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks,